Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, we're doing a little win winter training. Uh, basically all the things that we normally do in the summertime when well, we gotta practice these things during the winter too. Um, you know, winter training introduces a couple of new things that you may not be used to. First of all, you have to train in insulated gloves, uh, gloves rather. You have to have insulated gloves on, okay? You have to get used to manipulating the gun with the gloves. Safety on, safety off. You know, be able to do your press checks when you need to. You know, get used to using that forward assist. Uh, you know, with you know, especially with the winter gloves, when you rack your slide, sometimes it may not come back all the way when you, when you hit that charging handle. So after I do that, I'll, I'll definitely, I usually, I want to press check it. You know, because sometimes maybe it slips and I don't bring it back all the way. Uh, so all these things are, are things that you're going to discover uh, by doing your winter training. Okay, practice doing your tactical relo reloads with the winter gloves on. Get around the magazine, get around the chamber. All right, see, oh, jammed it that time, there we go. All right, safety on, all right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically take two shots in the, slow, in the snow and do a low crawl forward in the snow. Magazine okay, a couple of things you saw there. I did a uh, a magazine change in the snow. So again, something you gotta get used to. Um, when I was manipulating the safety on off on the ground it became easier you know just to uh bring my left hand back and hit the safety with my left hand you know just because you know my elbow my arm was in a position that i really couldn't reach the safety as easy okay so again these are things that you, that you'll learn by training in the snow so you know you're gonna get snow on the gun and that's fine the gun it is designed to use it the one thing you want to be careful of See if I got around the chamber. There's one there. Uh, one thing you want to do is you don't want to store the gun. Um, you know, let's put it this way: you don't want snow to melt and drip down into the barrel because what will happen is uh, you, that could form an icicle. Uh, and then basically, if you don't want to fire the gun if there's ice forming uh, inside the um, inside the barrel. So what I will generally do is, um, when I'm done shooting, I'll put one. You know, I'll, I'll chamber around. And what I'll do is I'll fire one round. Okay, that verifies that my barrel is clear of any moisture. And then I'll basically, I will store the gun barrel down. Okay, so if there's any snow in that bird cage, which is going to happen, you know, that bird cage is going to, you know, you will get snow that's going to get stuck in there. But as long as I store the gun now barrel down, there's no way that that snow is going to melt and drift up into the barrel uh, and freeze up in there, okay? So that's something very important to keep in mind with winter training. I'll talk to you guys next time.